Here's the boring story of a $30,000 a month lifestyle of a good friend of mine. The other day while chatting with him, I told him, look, what you need is to hire a camera guy to follow you around and take shots of you and some video footage that you can later use. Pay him some extra money for the editing and add that content to your courses. He replied, man, I get what you're saying, but I don't live an exciting life. I'm all day in front of a screen bullshitting on social media and writing content for my followers. That's not good enough for having some dude chasing me around with a camera. Well, man, here we go again. This is not the first time I've heard this, and I'm sure it will not be the last time either. See, my guy, like many others, is stuck in his own head because he feels he doesn't have the exciting, adventurous lifestyle that Instagram influencers have. Let me break down his day. He spends between 10 and 12 hours a day in front of a screen. One minute he'll be writing something for his courses or information products and the next day he's just BSing on social media, reaching out to people online and trying to get new clients. Nothing fancy as you might see. Still, there's a part of him that believes that people won't purchase his products because he's not promoting an adventurous lifestyle. Thing is, he's not the type that likes to brag about his accomplishments. He ain't even the type that likes posting selfies of himself or likes, you know, being with bi bikini beach babies by his sides. And he's not even driving fancy Lambos because he, don't, he doesn't like it. In short, he's worried he's not flexing enough online. And you want to know something? He actually told me that he enjoys what he's doing. Man, <laughs> that's when I told him, look, just keep providing value and teaching people and the money will keep pouring in. And here's the little secret. He and I basically have the same lifestyle. Look, my life is not filled with tons of exciting adventures. And to be honest, I'm not even fond of these adventures. I don't like them too much. I'm a married man. I'm married to a woman who is as intelligent as she is beautiful. We love each other. We have two fantastic sons who we raise, you know, like we're supposed to. And we're proud of them. And to me, my family has been my ultimate adventure. Some people might not find this interesting, and that's okay. That's okay. But enough of this mushy stuff, okay? Let's go down to what I do in a day. I spend around six to eight hours in front of a computer. I don't have to, but I want to. I also, from time to time, text my clients and follow up on my Twitter notifications. By the way, I also eat some steaks a day, pick my kids at school, and that's it. After that, I'm done from the day. And after that, I just do whatever the hell I want to do. I spend it with my family, I go to YouTube, I, I read sometimes, and... Now, this might not be the lifestyle that the internet likes to showcase. It's not glamorous, per se, and I'm okay with that. But here's the thing, my boring lifestyle had let me achieve massive personal and professional success. And hear me out, what I'm about to tell you might come across as a bit of a flex, but I'm only telling you this in the interest of being upfront and honest. So a couple of days before recording this podcast, I signed a new deal for $3,500. And not only that, February 2020 was my best month ever. I made nearly $40,000 in sales. And to be honest, after, you know, making some calculations, it was actually a little bit more than $40,000. But here's the thing, that's in sales. I spent around $11,000 of that income. And that's about, you know, stuff related to business and personal stuff like groceries and new clothing. But that aside, I'm not telling you this to brag. I'm just telling you this to be upfront with who I am and what I'm about. I didn't get this lifestyle from posting exotic cars or showing off all my stuff or whatever, you know, posting pretty pictures on Instagram. 
I don't need to brag about having an adventurous lifestyle to make money online because I don't even have an adventurous lifestyle, nor do I seek having that kind of lifestyle. The numbers speak for themselves. My lifestyle, the one that I treasure, came from putting in the work. And what's the work that I do? Well, I sell my services, web design, and I create courses teaching people the skills they need to build no streams of income. And that's all there is. There's no secret formula. In my opinion, selling services or physical products and creating courses is the best way to make money online. See, when you have the skills and when you have the platform, people take note of you. And if you throw a little bit of persuasive writing into the mix, people will have no choice but to pay attention to you. And you don't even need to have that Instagram lifestyle to make money online. All you need is an offer and the burning desire to promote that offer. And also don't forget that you need to get paid for that too. And once you have these things, all those humble brag posts can go to hell. So I'm here to tell you, don't ever, ever, ever reduce your self-worth. And more importantly, don't attach your self-worth to material things such as cars, houses, expensive stuff. Forget about that. My life, according to the internet, is a boring one, but it's the life that I love and I'm grateful for it. Can you imagine yourself bouncing out of bed? Excited for the day? I can, because I live that every single day. Can you imagine yourself doing those things that you love each day for the rest of your long life? I can, because I live in that reality. And I'm not riding around in Lamborghinis because I don't give a crap about that. I'm not into having girls chasing me around because I don't care about that. I just like the simple life that I have. Also, I just like passing on my skills to others and being of value to my clients and friends. This gives me purpose and it gives me meaning. Now, how do you find purpose and meaning, you ask? You do so by being of value to others, not by showing expensive Lambos and things that you rented out just to take some pictures. And, you know, just let me end this with a note. Whatever you do, do it for yourself. Don't do it for anyone else. Just make sure you deliver on your promises, especially, especially, especially on the ones that you make to yourself. As at the end of the day, there has never been a better time to be selling and promoting your stuff. Those are some ideas that you have inside your head. You know, the, the million dollar ideas that you have. Get them out of your head right now and show them to the world. The more you wait to get started, the longer it will take you to start making an income online and even offline. So my challenge to you is the following. Get started today. It might take you a month or a year or it might take you two years to succeed. I have no idea. Man, it can even take you a couple of minutes or hours. Who knows how quickly you can turn your life around. But know this, if you don't get started, you'll never hit that goal that you have for yourself. So what are you waiting for? Stop listening to this and get started now.